What's good, Nay? Yo, Nation! What's good guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, say it with me real quick. What's good? What he do? Oh, what's up? Before we get into this video, you guys already know the drill. I'm gonna need you guys to hit that little bell somewhere here so you can be part of that notification squad. And I'm gonna need you to go follow me on my social media at NaraPits on all social media platforms. So, as you guys can tell from the touch of this video, today is a different video, a video that I've never really done before. Something that I just thought would be very fun and interesting to talk about. And today we're going to be talking about apartment hunting 101 things they do not tell you about apartment hunting. All right, so let me stop laughing on about without further ado, let's get into the video. All right guys, so for those of you asking why am I talking about this, why would I, you know, because I never really talk about these kind of things, it's because first and foremost, I've just moved into my own apartment, okay, and I know what a struggle it was to get shot. It took me months, I literally started apartment hunting, I think last year, May, last year May, I started apartment hunting and I only like I was only serious I think in like June July but like it took me so long to actually find the perfect apartment for the right price in the right place and etc and etc and etc so I was like I'm not trying to see anybody else go through the struggle that I went through because child it was not cute okay so I am here to be your saving grace okay I'm here to be your superwoman and whatever okay and I'll be giving you guys tips I guess and things that a lot of people don't really say about apartment hunting and I think things that anybody who's looking for an apartment right now should know prior to the process just by the way I'm not in any way involved in property I'm not an estate agent I know close to nothing about property except for the general knowledge so a lot of the things that I'll be saying here are based off of my experience okay you guys can can't dis can disagree with some of them some people might relate some people might not understand some people might feel like they've never gone through that and that's okay but we're here to you know have a conversation and that's what this is all right so the first thing um that is important about apartment hunting obviously is the website that you use okay so the two main websites that i used when i was looking for an apartment were property 24 and private property all right i drove away from using private property just because there was always this notion and the stigma that private property is expensive so i was like okay i'm not even trying to use it but in all honesty when i actually went onto private property the properties were more or less the same price in all honesty but also that could be just because when i went onto private property it was when i decided that actually no let's go for buying an apartment instead of renting you know um but yeah private property and property 24 are the most famous ones the nicest thing about both websites just by the way this is not sponsored okay so i am not advertising not an okay i'm just advising you guys the nicest thing for me personally about both websites is that if for example i search santon um, they recommend or they show other places around that area, you know, that's, that's you know what I'm saying So they don't just if you don't just search like Bryanston it shows you Bryanston like if you say Bryanston it, it gives you, you know like Ilovo and all these other places that you can you know potentially live at if you don't find anything that you like in Bryanston Another thing that I didn't do a lot of that I realized I should have done because it helped me a lot as time went was asking around it is so important to actually ask around, ask your friends who are involved in property, ask anybody that you know of that's involved in property and um, you know, all of that stuff. I think that will help you greatly because there are times where there's certain apartment blocks or certain companies or whatever that don't actually showcase their apartments on those websites. Or I don't know why they sometimes they don't show up there. There's probably, you know, reasons for it, and anybody who's in property would know the reason for it, but I'm not, so I don't know. But yeah. Asking around helps a lot. Asking people to help you look helps a whole lot. Like it helps a bunch because some people have been doing it much longer than you have. So they already know where to go, what to search for. You know what I'm saying? I know for me personally, anybody who has asked me to help them look for a place, it's been like so easy for me just because I've been looking for a place for so long that I already know where to find what, you know? So yeah, asking around is also something really great that could help you. Also, something that I did a lot of, um, which I would recommend anybody who's apartment hunting does, is as you drive around the suburb that you're thinking of residing in i think it's important to actually look at apartments you know that 
although you can't see them on the inside you know but we all judge a book by its cover so if you feel that they look pretty or they look nice or it's something that you know you would like to you something that you would like to invest in then i think it's important to don't just drive around with a blind eye but actually be attentive and aware of what's around you when you drive around you know when you see a nice building just be like okay okay write it down i mean sometimes it could come that you search it and it's either they're only selling or they're not even selling or renting you know but it's always i think for me that's one of the biggest ways that i found apartments um other than property 24 and private property and asking around was actually being attentive when i drive around so that could help you that could help you a whole lot okay so even if somebody's driving you and you don't have a license in a pandemic are you not embarrassed it's okay even if you're not driving even if you're not the one driving you know sometimes maybe get off your phone and just scope the area especially if you know that it's an area that you want to live into okay so before you obviously go searching for an apartment or anything that matter i think the most important thing is to be realistic with your budget that is so important i cannot stress the importance of that and the reason that it's so important or the reason that i feel i need to stress it is because I was one of those people that knew that, for example, my budget for renting an apartment is 7, 8K or, you know, 6, 6 to 8K. And I'd be like, whenever I went on to property 24 or private property, you know, I'd be like between 8 and 10K, you know. And that's being so unrealistic with the budget, especially because when you look at renting or when you look at buying property, you always want to find the most affordable thing, you know. So if you know that your budget is in between, for example, 5K and 7K, don't, don't, don't um, go on the website and insert 5K and 9K. Because most times out of not, the apartment that you see that you will like will be the one that's for 9K. And you knew very well that ain't no way you're getting an apartment for 9K. So I feel like being um, realistic with your budget is so, 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 so important because it really helps you just cut off. It, it helps you just save time also. So before you even look for an apartment, whatever, look at your budget, look at your income, you know, look at all those kind of things. If you're a student or if you're somebody whose parents are paying for it, have that conversation with your parents before even going for hunting, you know. One thing I can tell you from personal experience, not having the conversation with your parents, um, say you back it really does set you back because you end up um looking for an apartment like when i was looking for an apartment to rent i'd have to I, I i looked for an apartment to rent without having that conversation with my with my parents and so it happened where i'd find apartments that i was like surely this is you know surely this is affordable and then i'd show my rent and they'd be like yeah no it's not happening you know and i was but that hurt my feelings because i'm just like damn because you know the thing is with apartment hunting, when you see a place you like, you really become invested in it, that you really imagine yourself living it and all of that. To save yourself from crushing your own dreams, just be realistic with your budget. And if somebody else is paying for your um, apartment, somebody else is paying for your rent, just then be realistic and ask them what the budget is. And when you go hunting, it will save you so much time if you don't try and be, you know, ambitious. The next thing is, once you've gone on the websites or once you've um, found a place, etc., I find it so important to read the reviews. It's so important. Most places might not have, okay, some places might not have reviews, but others do. And it helps so much. Um, even if you don't read the reviews on that specific apartment that's for sale or that's being rented out But maybe go to the apartment block in itself, you know um, If there's a place that you found that's in Santon or if there's a place that you found that's in Hatfield But there's no reviews under the place on property 24 or private property Maybe actually look for um, the apartment, the apartment area or the apartment block on the internet and see if there's any reviews that you can read from there you know i feel that um reading reviews helps you so much because most times out of not when somebody's helping you view an apartment you know they won't really mention the disadvantages a lot of the time you know there's very rare people who would mention the, the disadvantages and i mean that's understandable because they're you know trying to get in their bag and whatever you know and ain't nobody gonna mention what can get you out of the bag if they want you in their bag you know so yeah i think it's very important to read the reviews you know the reviews help you with things like realizing the noise level the load shedding if you're south african the load shedding problems you know the water problems the the the, the pests and in insect problems you know all of those things that a lot of the times when you're being sold or when you're being um when you're being convinced to get an apartment they won't be mentioned you know so i think it's very important if you know of somebody that could live there i mean that lived there before i think it's also very important to get their personal review 
maybe even when you get to the place to go view ask the people that live there that are walking around and just drive them to the side you know real quick and be like real talk between you and i how how you know how is this place out of ten? let's just let's just be honest with each other you know what i'm saying that could help you a whole lot also do not get an apartment in a rush put aside time to apartment hunt because getting an apartment in a rush will lead to rash decisions that you will most times out of not regret. So just make sure that you if, you, if you have to move into a place, let's say September, start hunting now. Don't start hunting in June, don't start, hunt now. Because trust me, it's gonna take you that long, okay? But yeah, so now we've moved past the website, we've moved past the looking for a place, you found a place that you want to view. Now going into the place and viewing the actual place, I think the first thing and the first and foremost important thing that worked for me personally is actually just evaluating the traffic in the place. Personally, I really am not a fan of loud estates or loud complexes or loud town. You know, I'm, I'm not a fan. I've never been a fan. I just don't like it. I know this might sound a bit, but if there's a lot of children playing when I come to view a place, I'm not going. I'm literally not. I am not going to even think twice about getting that place just because I have personal experience with living at a place that has children um, and it's like a family area and let's just say it was not pleasant okay let's let's just say it was not the nicest thing ever because children play anywhere and everywhere to be quite honest um, so yeah I'm not saying get a place that does not that doesn't have any children but if you are of working class or if you're a student actually i mean if you're a student most times out of not you're probably going to go look for a student area um but if you're not like myself not living in a student area you know um then i think it's very important that you look for a place that doesn't have a lot of traffic because most times out of not um a state um a state agents or you know whoever is there they um or the, the the complex or the estate managers they let you come and view the place at a time that's you know convenient and most times out of not it's a time where there's actually a lot of you know people that should be around so if you find that you get to a place and it's very busy when you get there i wouldn't recommend living there unless the place that you the, unless the specific apartment that you get is serene and quiet and you know separates it from the rest of the crowd then that's okay from personal experience i wouldn't recommend it okay so now you get into the house you're there you're there to view you've seen that there isn't a lot of traffic or there is a lot of traffic you get into the apartment the first and foremost important thing that i think is important to look at is the living space obviously one thing that I found very important when looking for an apartment is an apartment that has more living space than what is required. Does that make sense? In the sense that if I'm going to have a kitchen and a living room, I need to have space in between the kitchen and in between the living room. Do you understand? To move. Because a lot of apartments have a kitchen, a living room, a bedroom. You understand? And because it's empty a lot of the time, um, or because it's a showroom meaning that they furnished it in a specific way it looks like oh this is not bad you know I can work with this but you're going to really need to um, think about it and be like okay cool this is the space once I put a couch here and a coffee table and a this and a that and a that and whatever furniture you're planning on putting in will I still have space to actually move around in my place will I still have space to add extra things if I feel I need to things other than the basic stuff you know and this I'm saying this if you're in the privilege to do so if you're somebody that's on a strict budget and you really just need to find a place right now then hey man go for whatever you can find but if you're somebody that is you know looking for something comfortable something long term I would really recommend doing that another important thing that I forgot to mention my apologies is when you go to the apartment itself it is so important to actually explore the area guys i cannot stress this enough that is a mistake that i've made so many times where i'll go view an apartment and be like oh my gosh yes i like this and then actually search for the nearest shopping center or the nearest gym or the nearest you know public transport facility there and they're all like five kilometers seven kilometers i mean obviously if you're working class you've got a car you don't care about those things hey man that's cool but personally even though i do have a car i do not want to be driving 10 kilometers to go buy milk you know so i think it's very important to explore the area or even if you don't have time to explore the area when you get to the apartment area and um, the, the the complex of the estate in itself search on google maps 
nearest shopping center, you know, nearest whatever, nearest whatever, nearest whatever. It will help you so much to actually get an idea of, is this a conducive place to live in? Like, is this a place that I actually want to live in? Or do I just like the apartment? Unfortunately, the truth of the matter is, the apartment in itself is not enough. There's other things external, you know, there's other external factors that are just as important as the apartment. And for me personally, it's the convenience of the area. Another thing that's very important as you're viewing is to ask questions. The five most important questions for me are, first one is parking, if you've got a car. Um, is the parking, do you get charged for parking and how much do you get charged? Personally, I, I think anybody would be able to tell if this is an unreasonable amount of price, um, an unreasonable amount to pay for parking, especially if you're renting. If you're renting, a lot of the times you have to pay a parking fee of between 100 and 300 rand. Um, if you're buying, it's included in, you know, you're, it's included in the price. So you pay for it as you buy the apartment. So yeah, the parking is the first and foremost important one. The second one being water and electricity. I would recommend that anybody um, and everybody gets a place with prepaid electricity unless you're able to, you know, live life like that, that's cool. But prepaid electricity basically means that you're able to monitor your electricity. So instead of like most homes where you get a bull at the end of the month telling you how much electricity you've um, used up in the whole month, you know for yourself that for example, beginning of the month you're paying, you're buying 200 rand worth of electricity. And as it gets finished, you just refill it according to, you know, what you think is important. You don't have to pay a set amount at the end of the month, etc., etc. You buy your electricity. So you control how much electricity you use and how much money you spend on electricity. So having prepaid electricity is very, very, very important. The, the next thing after the water and electricity is the maintenance. It is so important to actually ask about the maintenance of your apartment area, I think, just because other than living in your space, you also go outside of your space and you want to know if the maintenance is of, you know, a, a decent level. The last thing that I find very important to ask about is the utilities in the apartment area. Um, I think anybody and everybody wants to live in an apartment area that has, you know, some sort of utilities, you know, whether it be a gym, a swimming pool, a clubhouse, you know, something of that manner or sort. So I think it's very important to ask, especially a clubhouse, because a lot of apartment blocks um, I know don't allow things like um, braying, um, they don't allow a lot of things, and so that's why they have the clubhouse. Also a swimming pool, a gym is a very big one for me personally, just because you then save, your, you save money from having to go and pay for a gym membership. Some um, um, estates or some complexes do let you go to the gym if you're already a resident others want you to pay a separate fee so i would recommend that you actually look at whether or not you need to pay or whether it's free i've only ever lived in places where the gym membership is free i don't think i'd want to live in a place where i have to pay for the gym because it will be one of most times i do not a stay gyms on the best you get you know so if i'm gonna pay i might as well then be going to the actual gym myself you know and then also the security asking about what are the rules and regulations and what's the procedure and the process for when you have a visitor or when somebody says they're coming to see you or when you want to exit and leave your apartment place yourself. So a place with high security is definitely something that's very, very, very important. Whether you're living in a student accommodation, um, a place of student area, you know, anything of that manner, just make sure that the security is tight. So yeah, those are the five questions that I would definitely, definitely find very important to ask. One more thing that I did not do, that a lot of people don't do, is checking if your furniture will fit. Check if the if you've already gotten furniture. If you're still yet to get furniture, that's okay. You're probably aware of your space and then you'll buy furniture according to your place. The last thing that I think is very important when apartment hunting is realizing that you're going to have to make a compromise, especially if you are on a budget. If you're somebody that's like, I want this and 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 then you're like, and my budget is 5,000. Please, please just be realistic with yourself. Please, I beg of thou. Please, guys, please be realistic and realize that there are compromises that you're going to have to make. But yeah, in all honesty, that is that is all I think I can share. I really hope this video was helpful for those of you that are looking for an apartment or for those of you that just have interest in property like I do. I won't lie. I've been looking at $50 million houses knowing that I have 50 rand in my account and be saying to myself that they're not that bad because, stronger, I one thing about me, I will manifest... I will send the money first. I will manifest. Thanks. 
But yeah guys, I hope you guys did enjoy that video. Alright, that is unfortunately the end of this video. I hope this video is very informative and helpful for those of you that needed it. And I hope, you know, even those of you that don't need it or those of you that have passed the stage like myself have certain things that you can relate to. Please do let me know down in the comment section what you feel you could relate to. Let me know if you have any other questions and I will try to answer them as much as possible. And also please do let me know if you guys would like more of these informative um, videos where I tell you about, you know, things that you didn't know or things that people don't tell you about, you know. But yeah, otherwise, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Comment down below for any more videos you'd like to see. And last but not the least, subscribe to my channel for more craziness. Bye, guys. <laughs>